As public art consultants, we believe that investing in public art can transform people and places. We brought artists Maria Amadou and Lionel Stanhope to work together with the local school and residents association to create a set of vibrant painted artworks. The project has been driven by Mid-Sussex District Council with support from Network Rail to help improve the public realm around Wiversfield Station. I think there's, there's lots of spaces that you drive past every day and there's nothing there and um, those spaces can be used to, to, to brighten an area up and to give a positive message, um, a nice positive message that have been designed with the school children from local school and residents, um, yeah, just to bring a bit of positive uh, colour and energy into a, 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 an area or walls that have been a bit just sort of unloved. It's basically four murals that are in dialogue with each other and all the texts come from the things that the neighbourhood shared with me about what they love about their neighbourhood. So everything that's in the piece is based on things that people told me or things that they actually created. So I was very pleased with the way things turned out. So we had the school, we had the residents association, we had the art consultancy, Francis Knight, and all together we had a community effort to make these improvements. It was a fairly drab area with uh, dull walls and overhanging weeds and we felt it needed a brightening up. Yeah, no, I'm really pleased with them. I mean, the colours are really bright and um, I think they pop off the wall nice and, that, and that's down to Maria's design more than anything. So there was a really lovely balance between using different children's work. So I could have just used one child's design, but I wanted to make sure that all the children were included in some way. So that's how the kind of... I guess the montage of the different letters came together. So Lionel has um, done this great rendering of a blue plaque that represents Morris Tate because he's the neighbourhood's most famous resident. Morris Tate was a cricketing superstar of the 20s and 30s, but he's been very much forgotten. So we wanted something to commemorate our most famous resident. It's vibrant and it's uplifting for the community, uh, you know. Uh especially for where we live here in World's End. For the last sort of three or four years, we've had uh, requests, complaints, um, ideas about improving our structures. Uh, not only does it look great aesthetically, but you know, it prevents graffiti, it's a big community engagement tool, and you know, increases uh, reputation with, with blindside neighbours, residents, communities and schools. A great joy to be able to engage with the local community and find something that people are pleased with. So we've been talking for months with schools, with the Residents Association, trying to find out the best thing to do and now it's actually here. So at the end of what's been a fairly miserable summer in terms that we can't go out and do things, at least there's something here that people can walk past, look out their windows, it brightens up our day. Yeah, I love the fact that we've met the brief, you know, that we've created something that has cheered up the you know, that location, which is not neglected, but just ordinary, I guess. We've changed it and made it a bit, well, less ordinary.